Hi there. In today's video, I'm connecting the Shiao ESP32 C3 board to Arduino IoT Cloud to control a 12 volt DC fan. So, to control the speed of the 12 volt DC fan, I need to connect the enable input pin A to a digital pin of the Xiao ESP32 C3. This digital pin will be D3. I also need to attach the input pin in one to 3.3 volt pin of the microcontroller Xiao ESP32 C3 board. Now, our DC motor is 12 volt. That's why we need an external 12 volt power supply. The plus of the 12 volt power supply should be attached to the input pin plus 12 volt. The negative side of the external power supply needs to be attached to the ground of the DC motor driver. So the ground of our microcontroller should be attached to the ground of the DC motor driver and to the uh, negative side of our external 12 volt power supply. So we are using the enable input pin A and the, the input pin 1 of the DC motor driver. So we need to connect the positive side of the 12 volt DC fan to output 1 and the negative side to output 2. Okay, now let me show you how I set up our project on Arduino IoT Cloud. Okay, what I did first, what I did first is to, I created a, a thing, okay, and uh, you click on that after creation, okay, I created a variable, okay, that's my variable, um, I'm going to open it, okay, so that's that declaration of my variable uh, the type is integer so my variable is is an integer number and uh, it can read and write okay and you can also edit your variable if you want but i don't i uh, i don't okay so i'm going to quit now uh you need to uh to, to to attach okay uh your microcontroller to the uh, arduino iot cloud i did that here you also need to provide your uh wi-fi password and the name of, of your wi-fi uh, and the secret key generated automatically by Arduino IoT Cloud. So this section is our uh, where our sketch reside, okay? As you can see, they automatically put our variable here to produce PWM signal, okay? So the, the, uh, they say the following variables are automatically generated and updated when changes uh, are made are made to the thing. Okay. 
so i need um you see i need to to define a new variable called model receives pwm wave okay d3 so uh this variable will receive the pwm wave and deliver and delivers um to our driver dc model driver l2 uh, 9 8 10. okay uh that's my fu function okay since uh as you can see here since to produce pw signal is re read and write the variable on to this function is executed every time a new value is received from the iot cloud okay guys so that's the uh, analog write to produce the the PWM signal um, through to produce PWM signal. Okay, guys. Um, yeah, and we're gonna send the PWM signal to pin to digital pin D three. So now I I went to dashboard to create a dashboard okay you click on create a dashboard um and uh, then you, you click on that you click on, on your dashboard to make to apply the changes or, or to make changes okay you can also edit your dashboard so uh, i use the slider widget widget okay and the position uh of it on my mobile phone phone is like that okay is this position i linked uh the widget sl slider with my variable okay to produce pwm signal uh, then uh the main mean v um, value of my variable is zero the max is um Two hundred fifty-five. You you can also change the orient orientation of your widget. Okay, uh, it's okay. We click on done. Okay, done. And then we click uh, uh click on here, and we uh, go back to things, so we can upload the sketch you click on your thing click on that and go to sketch yeah so but uh, i'm facing here problem the things that is not detecting my board neither my port so i, I I'm, I'm going to to upload the sketch from uh from full editor so i'm going to open full editor because on full editor uh, they always detect the port and the board okay so now you choose choose your board xiao esp 32 c3 and the board is con 6 okay and uh, now you, you're good to upload the sketch we wait, 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 we are waiting, waiting, process it, go, 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 uh, it's taking time, go, it, it's busy. Don't you see? It's busy. But we wait, we wait, we wait, we wait, we wait, we wait. Go, go, go. Run for your life. It is running for his life. <laughs> I think we're done here. No, not yet is uh, uploading the sketch um, and uh, it's 
done. One hundred percent percent. Okay, it's done. Oh, great. We did it. Okay, now we can go testing our project. Okay, guys. Okay, now, time to control the speed of our 12 volt DC fan using Arduino IoT Cloud or using Xiao ESP 32C3 through Arduino IoT Cloud. We can also control the speed of our DC fan from Arduino IoT Cloud instead of using our mobile phone.